Hey guys, Jim back um, with a, a really quick update. I just got two things in the mail today I wanted to show you guys. First up is the classic uh, thriller uh, Play Misty for me, the uh, Clint Eastwood's directorial debut. Um, this came out in 1971. It says, The scream you hear may, may be your own. And I got this one because it has a lot of special features on it. This is one that keeps it out. Um, so, yeah. Got a lot of good special features on this when I picked it up. Even though I have like the the original uh, Play Misty for me Blu-ray that was released by Universal, it doesn't have as much special features on it. And probably the this one will probably have a better transfer to it as well. Kino is usually pretty good with their transfers, so and Kino is one of those specialty you know boutique companies that put out movies. So this will probably have a better transfer to it than the old one. I'll probably end up selling my old copy. But yeah, this has like a new audio commentary on it, a new any interview with co-star Donna Mills. Um, it's got a video essay, a documentary, stuff like that on it, then compared to the old one. And some really good trailers, uh, trailers from Hell with Adam Rifkin, so. Yeah, so can't wait to get around checking the transfer with this and watching some of the special features. I'm going to um, show you, um, on the weekend I got another update coming of some things I picked up in time that I haven't showed you guys yet. I got a few, bunch of things I want to show you guys, another update. Some other Blu-rays that I picked up, haven't showed you yet, and a couple other DVDs, um. I'll show you the artwork to this underneath the slipcover. Now, it's not open right now, but I will open it, and I'll show it to you when I get it opened, all the artwork and everything in, the, in another video. So that's one thing I got. And then I also got Triple H, the game. I didn't have this one for my wrestling collection, so I picked it up. It's one I was missing. Um, this is, uh, I've got some pretty good artwork. I really like that artwork with Triple H on the front of his face on the cover of that one. I really, really like this one. I prefer this one over that damn good, which they both came out at the exact same day in 2002, but I prefer Triple H, the game, over that damn good. Because I think all the matches on that damn good you can find in other releases. So, But yeah, there he is giving the pedigree to Benoit. Shot one at the bottom of this runs three hours. I think I remember the VHS, my Blockbuster had the VHS to this, but they didn't have the DVD when it came out. I remember they think the VHS was like only 60 minutes or something, I believe, when it came out. But yeah... There's the inside. Comes with the insert, and it actually comes with the original DVD catalog, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to open up and show it because everybody's seen these in other people's videos, but yeah, it's really cool that it came with this. I was really happy about that, that it came with that little uh, booklet pamphlet with uh, all the other uh, releases. The disc art. And I just wanted to quickly tell you some of the things I have. Like, I'm not going to go over all this because it's already been reviewed online, you know, by a lot of other people, like by the, the DVD freak and Relaxing Ghost and all them guys have already really been over this. So I'm not going to do that, but I wanted to uh, tell you about um, uh, what I really liked about this. Is I had his favorite match at Russell Warrior 9, Ric Flair versus Ricky Steamboat on here, a feature which I thought was pretty cool. And then it's also got his Federation debut uh, from April of 95 versus Buck. Pedophile Zoom Off. I am not a fan of that guy. That guy's a fucking scumbag. Anybody who don't know, um, I know I'm getting off topic with this release, but I wanted to quickly say something about this. Anybody who doesn't know Buck Zoom Off, the backstory about him, he was, I think, arrested at least once or twice, I think a couple of times actually, for molesting kids. He's a pedophile, and not only did he molest kids, but he molested his own daughter. And he said in prison that he really enjoyed it, like, molesting his own daughter and stuff like that. He's a fucking sick scumbag. Buck zoom off. I can't believe they had Bobby Heenan lose to him in one of the weasel suit matches. They had Bobby. It makes me fucking sick that they had Bobby Heenan lose a match to that piece of garbage. Buck zoom off. I can't believe, too, at one time, AWE pushed that guy. Like, I never seen what people saw in Buck zoom off. Why he got pushed so big in the AWE. In the WWF, they just used him when he was a jobber. But in AWA, he was a friggin', uh... Uh, trying to push him to be a, a, a star in that, and he, the guy went from fucking weighed maybe a buck fifty. He, he's lucky if he came up onto the giant's crotch, and, you know, they, and they pushed this guy, and he got wins like I think over like Jesse the Body, and I can't believe they had people that get, like Jesse the Body and Bobby Heenan lose that scumbag, Buck Zuma. But you know, if somebody wants to see something they're really gonna enjoy, check this match. But I believe it's on YouTube. Um, there's a match with um. Buck Zumoff and Kamala, I think it is. I think it might be that old match for either Superstars or Wrestling Challenge, where Kamala actually stink faces Zumoff in the corner for a few seconds, and the crowd really comes alive. They really, really seem to enjoy it. Even back then, they think people knew he was an asshole. A yeah, scumbag, Buck Zumoff. Kamala actually stink faces him for a few seconds. It's great. Now he probably gets uh, stink face in prison every uh, every day. 
But yeah, he's got. They have other matches of him on there, like Undertaker. Too bad Undertaker didn't snap his neck with that tombstone. Or uh, Kamala when he buns or when Yokozuna buns, I drop. Just how zoom off. He should fucking buns. I dropped on his fucking head. But anyways, enough about that guy. I don't even want to talk about him. He's not even worth talking about. But yeah. But anyways, guys. Um, I really, really like this Triple H the game. I highly recommend this one over that damn good. I really, really like this one. I love the artwork on it. It's got some good content on it. So overall, I'd go with this one over those two Triple H sets. DVDs. But yeah, guys. So that's anyways. That's what I got. This was just an update of two things. I got Triple H the game from 2002. Um, even though this is a WWE, when you go to watch the program, it's still under WWF. Even the pamphlet inside of that DVD catalog still got WWF on it, which I thought was odd, uh, even though they already had it, like, changed on the outside, that it was still, the, uh, pamphlet was still there. And then when you actually watch the program, it's still under WWF banner, too. Like, when you watch the program, it hasn't been changed over yet. Just the outside has the WWE on it. And then they got Play, Play Misty for me, uh, on Blu-ray by Keen Oliver. So, yeah. So that's my update for uh, today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care, guys. I'm out. Bye.